The South Fork of the Boise River is a scenic and popular place to go fishing, camping, and whitewater rafting. It's got a blue ribbon rainbow trout fishery, lots of campsites, and a challenging whitewater canyon. With a steady stream of new people moving into the greater Boise area, public use is increasing in the South Fork corridor. The South Fork of the Boise is a great resource. It is only an hour away from a population that's growing very fast, so there's a lot of people up here, especially on the weekends. It is a remote experience, but it's heavily used, and so when you come up here, you have to have that mindset. You're gonna come across a lot of people, and you just need to be polite and do your thing. Along with that increased use comes an uptick in bad behavior. Issues that can be hopefully avoided with better planning, preparation, and education. When you've got a lot of use and you've got a lot of people, um, we're also seeing a lot more trash, we're seeing a lot more human waste out in the woods. People should come prepared to pack out what they pack in for their camping trip. We always recommend packing it in, packing it out. Um, you'll notice when you get to these facilities, they don't have a bunch of trash cans, they don't have um, dumpsters at a lot of our facilities. So packing it in, packing it out is very important. It's always a good idea to bring several more trash bags than you think you're gonna need. You can leave it better than you found it too. So even if it's not your trash, if you see trash on the ground, it's always a good idea to pick that up too. Human waste can be managed at your campsite by bringing a portable toilet for your group, using existing outhouses in the canyon, or digging a proper cat hole. Using a trowel, dig a hole six to eight inches deep or four to six inches in arid deserts. You can dig your cat hole, that's always important. And also, pack it out. You know, you pick up your dog's waste, you can pick up your, your human waste as well. And a lot of people that have the tents with the buckets, that's always a nice idea. Um, and then if you find an outhouse, you can always put it in that outhouse so you don't have to carry it all the way home. Another option is a wag bag. Wag bags are custom made for disposing of human poop. Be sure to camp in a designated camping area on the South Fork to minimize impact. The Forest Service has signed designated camping areas for public use. Pick a campsite where you can have some privacy and please respect the space of other campers. You should definitely give your fellow campers some space um, just so that you've, you're enjoying your recreation in your own atmosphere. If you want a campfire, build it inside the fire rings provided by the Forest Service. This is the safest way to go. If stage one fire restrictions kick in, campfires are allowed only in agency approved fire rings. Never leave a campfire unattended. Remember to fully extinguish your campfire. Pour water on the fire repeatedly while stirring the embers until it is dead out. In addition, dispose of cigarettes safely, pack out, and remember that fireworks are prohibited on Forest Service lands. Many people will be in a rush on the weekend to snag their favorite campsite on the South Fork. People are just really excited to get to their camp spot. They're really excited to go out and recreate in, on the forest. And so we're seeing people that are going kind of fast on the gravel roads, just trying to have people to remember to just kind of slow down. You can't get out there and recreate if you don't make it. So don't be a statistic and have, a, have an accident out on those gravel roads. There are multiple existing boat ramps in the South Fork Corridor for anglers and boaters. There's also a wide concrete boat ramp at the Danskin Put-In for the Whitewater Canyon float trip. But some people are creating their own boat launch sites in the South Fork Corridor, trampling vegetation in the riparian area. The number of developed boat ramps up and down the canyon but there's also a lot of um, places where folks are throwing boats over the side of the road or, you know, they've got a campsite and they want to just float into their campsite and take their boat out. Not using developed ramps has a big impact on sediment flow in the river, which is not good for fish, as well as just resource damage. Sticking to those developed uh, boat ramps is a good idea on the, when you come up here to float. On this upper end, there's, there's a boat ramp every few miles. And so there is a lot of opportunity to, 
You know, you can come up and do a short evening float and you're gonna be able to, you know, use a developed ramp that's three, four miles apart. There's a ton of options on the developed system that's up here. Overall, Boise National Forest officials hope people can enjoy their recreation experience on the South Fork while doing their part to keep it clean and beautiful for the next group to enjoy.